Hello and welcome to Joe's Crafty Cauldron, my channel for crafting, collecting and Harry Potter. And today's video is the last in my throwback loot crate boxes. So I'm 100% I'm certain that this is the last loot crate box that I have left over. Um, so this is um, the wizarding world box from um as i said loot crate this is a i think it's every two months they do a box um so i used to sign up for these but i sort of realized that they weren't really worth the money um and this was i think one of the last ones that i had delivered before i cancelled it um and then i did sign up again briefly just because of the theme of the box um so i have actually um signed up and got the the Christmas box from them just to see what it's like um and then I cancelled it again <laughs> so so yeah so uh so this was um I can't even remember when this was from it might even be last year at some point um so it is herbology themed um because we've got a little sticker um on there so let's get into this oh I've not been prepared I've not cut the box open and I don't think I have any scissors anywhere near me. Mm, that, oh, hang on. Do I have anything helpful in this drawer here? Possibly not. Oh, hang on. We might be in luck. Good to know for future reference that there are scissors in that drawer. Okay, right, let's skip skip my lack of being prepared there. So first look, we have a grey t-shirt. So grey is sometimes good. Give you the first look there. What's on it? Um, so I don't really like bright colours <laughs> so that's too bright for me so it says mandragora mandrake warning earmuffs must be worn and so then it's got a bright pink picture of a mandrake baby looking thing in a pot with some text behind it i'm not a fan of that i always i don't even know if i'd be a fan of it even if it wasn't in bright pink and some sort of weird like i do like teal but I'm not sure about that colour teal. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'd like it even if it was slightly muted. Um, but yeah, no, not sure. Not one over on that t-shirt. Um, but as I say on pretty much every video where I get a t-shirt I don't like, um, it's quite hard to win me over on t-shirts. Okay, then we've got Herbology 101 wall tapestry. So let's see. Yeah, the thing with these boxes is you don't get a lot of items for the price you pay. So, what's this going to be? Oh, okay. It's got a Mimbulus Mimbletonia on it, so I might actually like this. So we've got, this is going to be so hard for you to see because you're going to just see me in the background. So we've got a Mimbulus Mimbletonia. We've got uh, some sort of puff thing. I'm trying to read it backwards and it's in fancy writing. Then we've got whatever this puffer pod there. That's it. As I say, you're not going to be able to see this. Um, we've got something up here. Gillyweed. Um, aconite. Ugh. Is that all aconite? Then we've got down here, we've got dirigible plums. Then this I'm going to be guessing is ugh, quite big. Venomous tentacular. And then the last corner, we've then got little mandrake. So I'm not sure how much of that you are actually able to see. This is huge. Okay, it is meant to be a wall tapestry. I was just thinking, this is quite large to be, like, could I wear this as a scarf? <laughs> that, that could work. I just wear it as a massive scarf. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the height of fashion, is wearing a tapestry for a scarf. Ooh. 
Okay, we're well, okay. Now I've got to try and fold this up again, and I'm just dropping things. This is huge. I could imagine it would be quite cool though to have it on a wall. Have I got a big enough wall? I could put it on this wall here. Oh no, it's not big enough. Because it's. How big are you? 60, 60 inches by 60 inches. That is a hefty tapestry. Oh, the thing's gone down again. Sorry, I'm just going to give you a lovely view of me trying to fold a tapestry up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this back in this bag because I don't think I've got it small enough. <laughs> Challenge of the... Oh, I'm not even going to bother. Okay, so that's that. Okay, this says bow truckle on it. I like bow truckles, so let's see what this is. Did they do... They did bow truckles in... Um... Oh, what was the lesson? Care of magical creatures. So I don't know why it's in a herbology box. Or was it in herbology? So we've got this purple handkerchief with lots of little bow truckles on it and some sort of magical symbol there. And it's obviously meant to be Newt's, Newt's handkerchief because we've got that there. Um, I don't know about that. I won't use it because I don't use handkerchiefs. So I don't know. It's still quite cute. I do like when things have bow truckles on them. So not sure about that one. I'm undecided. Then we've got some, oh, there is more stuff in here. It was just hidden. Um, so then we've got some, is this a magnet? Dirigible plums magnet. So we've got dirigible plums there um, that say keep off the dirigible plums. And then you can stick them on your fridge or wherever. And then the last thing we have is a pin. The last few boxes I had, they had from Loot Crate, I think they had like Fantastic Beasts themed pins in them. So I wasn't a massive fan of those. So I don't know if this is going to be. Yeah, this is at the same vein. So this is a Kelpie. Um, yeah, I'm just not sure of the style of these. Um, yeah, I'm just not a fan, really. So now I have three pins from Loot Crate, all with animals on them, but I don't really like. I think even one of the animals was actually, or should I say one of the Fantastic Beasts, was actually an animal I quite like, but the way they'd done it, I wasn't a massive fan of, so. But never mind. So yeah, not a fan of that one. Let's have a look at the little. So it was called Magical Plants. So from the foreboding foliage of the Forbidden Forest to the Herbology Gardens of the Hogwarts Greenhouses, we've cultivated a collection of magical plants to help you enjoy the great outdoors. So we've got one is the Bow Truggle Handkerchief, two is the Herbology Tapestry, three is the Mandrake T-shirt, four is the Dirigible Plum Magnet Set, and five is the Kelpie Enamel Pin. So let me show you that because that's probably a better view of the tapestry there. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm just not sure. Oh, it was a shrivel fig. That's what I couldn't read backwards. Um, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, these boxes are a little bit more expensive than like the likes of Geek Gear and I sometimes feel like you don't really get your money's worth in these. I'm not sure. Um, I feel like the only thing I would probably actually use is the um the tapestry if i can find a wall big enough to put it on um, but i have a lot of like prints and stuff so i'd probably want to put more prints up on the wall than just one big tapestry so yeah um so nothing really in sadly nothing in that box has really uh blown me away um so yeah as i said that was the one leftover throwback box that I had left to do. I am getting the kind of Christmas one. I don't know if it's Yule Ball themed or just Hogwarts in the snow or something like that themed. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it's like. And I probably need to consider not getting any more 
even if it is a theme that I think I'll like the look of. But anyway, um, I'm not affiliated with Loot Crate in any way. This is just me getting this old box and showing you what I got in it. So if you do like it, then you like it. Let me know down below if you liked um, anything from it. Um, anyway, that's all from me. Thank you as always for watching. I'll see you in my next video.